What's up guys, KenBlox here. In this video, I will show you the best way on how to level up fast in 3rd C using Human Buddha Fruit. Before we proceed, a big shout out to these guys. Without further ado, let's go. Buddha Fruit is the best fruit for grinding. Due to its buffs when transformed, 800% hitbox and a 50% damage reduction. And you can use other styles such as gun, sword, and fighting style while on Buddha transformation. First, when you reach 3rd C, the first objective would be the Pirate Millionaires in Port Town. For Buddha Fruit user, I highly recommend the Ghoul Race due to its life leech and movement speed when it's night time. But you can use Rabbit Race as well, due to additional movement speed. Our target here is level 1650. This is how I do my rotation. Stats check. Our next objective is Giant Islander in Hydra Island. We skipped a lot of mobs and quests. Due to the distance of each mobs and quest giver are too wide. Our target here is level 1675. This is how I do my rotation. Stats check. Next is the Island Empress, from the same quest giver in Hydra Island. Use your hitbox advantage to keep your distance. This is how I kill the Island Empress. Our target here is level 1750. Check the boss, take the quest, kill, server hop, and repeat. Stats check. Our next objective is the Kilo Admiral in Great Tree. This is how I kill the boss. Take the quest, check the boss, kill, server hop, and repeat. Our target here is level 1800. Stats check. 
Our next objective is the Fishman Captain in Floating Turtle. This how I do my rotation. Always use your instinct to increase your instinct XP. Our target here is level 1825. Stats check. Next is the forest pirate from the quest giver near the mansion in Floating Turtle. This is how I do my first rotation. For the second rotation, just start from the opposite side. Our target here is level 1925. Stats check. Next are the Musketeer Pirates in Floating Turtle. Our target here is level 2000. This is how I do my rotation. Because of the life leech buff of good race and ghoul mask, I am not afraid of damage from the mobs. Stats check. Next objective is the living zombies in Haunted Castle. This is how I do my two rotations. We skip the reborn skeleton, because the distance of mobs from the quest giver are too far. Our target here is level 2025. Stats check. Our next objective is the Demonic Soul. From the second quest giver in the Haunted Castle. This is how I do my rotation. Then on second rotation, I'm doing it on reverse. Our target here is level 2075. Stats check. Next is the Peanut Scout in Peanut Island in Sea of Treats. This is how I do my rotations.
on my next rotation. I'm just doing it in reverse. Our target here is level 2125. Stats check. Next is the Ice Cream Chef in Ice Cream Island in Sea of Treats. This is how I do my rotations. Our target here is level 2200. Stats check. Our next objective is the Cookie Crafter. This is how I do my rotations. Our target here is level 2250. Stats check. Our next objective is the baking staff. This is how I do my rotations. Just do the next rotation on reverse. Our target here is level 2300. Stats check. Our next objective is the Coco Warrior. You don't have to do any special rotation, because the mobs are close to each other. Our target here is level 2350. Stats check. On the same island, our next objective is the Sweet Thief. This is how I do my rotations. Our target here is level 2375. From the same quest giver, next is the Candy Rebel. Our target here is level 2400. This is how I do my rotations. Stats check. 
Next is the Candy Pirate. Our target is leveled to 1425. From the same quest giver, last quest is the Snow Demon. Target here is the max level, 2450. That's it guys. Just leave a comment down below if you have questions. I will respond to your comment as much as possible. If you have any other suggestions or need help, just leave a comment. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to avoid this cursed killo fruit. Thank you for watching, enjoy gaming and keep on grinding.